Greetings to you. Bishop Vetter here, your bishop. Wonderful to be with you. I've been your bishop for less than a year, and it's been quite a, quite a journey. Uh, it's not what I expected uh, in my first year, and uh, this last year hasn't been what any of us expected, uh, but I count it a true blessing. I would not want to be any other place than in the Diocese of Helena. I truly mean that, uh, and I hope I hope you feel that you'd rather not have any other bishop than me, but if not, I still love being here. Uh, and so I just want to thank you for the warm welcome uh, that I've received over these months. Uh, so many of you uh, sending wonderful notes and praying for me, uh, stopping by, all those things. Uh, and also uh, for your generosity to the annual Catholic appeal from last year. Uh, we almost reached our goal. Uh, and it was wonderful, so thank you for your generosity. I, I want to be sure and thank each and every one of you, not only for your financial support, but for your prayers uh, for me and for the diocese and for the good work uh, that we are doing here. Um, these are trying times, aren't they? These are trying times for all of us. Um, we're not made to be alone or to isolate or to socially distance ourselves from others, that we're made for communion. We're made for each other, uh, to be with one another. There's so much that has changed in the last year. But one thing has not changed. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. He has not changed, nor has our faith. And he's with us in this struggle and in every struggle. And so we beg him to deepen our faith, hope, and love. We are called, especially now, huh, to be strong witnesses to hope. A strong witness to hope, our hope in Jesus Christ and the salvation that he offers us, no matter what's happening in our world or in our personal lives. Um, for our annual Catholic appeal this year, uh, that's our theme, witness to hope. And the photo that you're going to see all around in our mailings, but also on posters in, in our parishes, is the photo of our Holy Father, Pope Francis, uh, outside St. Peter's Basilica in Rome praying uh, during the beginning of the pandemic for an end to it. And St. Peter's Square is completely empty. Such a powerful image. There he stands, a solitary figure, right? Our Holy Father, the Vicar of Christ on earth, as a witness to hope. And so we want to imitate him as our Good Shepherd, as our, as our Holy Father, uh, that we are people of faith, uh, through these things, and that we need each other. Huh? We need each other, and that's a beautiful thing, uh, that we are not alone. We can do so much more together than we can do alone. And that's really what the annual Catholic Appeal is all about, working together to build the kingdom of God. My dear people, I'm simply a beggar, and so I beg you. I have no problem being a beggar, because I'm begging on your behalf for the good people of the Diocese of Helena who are going to benefit most directly from this, uh, to be as generous as you are able. And I ask you, if you have not supported the annual appeal in the past, to reconsider. We can't do it without you. Each one of us, five dollars, right? Something uh, to continue the work of the diocese. I hope that every parishioner not only can give financially, but that will pray. Please, I need your prayers. The diocese needs your prayers. Uh, always. Uh, and not to forget the power of prayer uh, each day. If you're able, give a bit more. Our goal is $2 million, which is the goal it's been for the last several years, and we've never reached the goal. Uh, but I know these are difficult times, and so I want to keep the amount the same. And I beg you to beg our dear Lord, who's been so good to us, to increase our faith so that each of us are a witness to hope, a witness to hope in our families, in our parishes, in our communities, a witness to hope to the world that Jesus Christ came, suffered, died, rose from the dead, sent us his Holy Spirit, and left us his mom to be our mom. And we entrust ourselves to Mother Mary and all that she desires for us in the Diocese of Helena. Mother Mary, we love you. Take care of each one of us.
know of my prayers for you, dear people of the Diocese of Helena, and keep me in yours as well.